Okay, starting point. Um, BMS is showing 40.8 volt. And then let me reset. Two battery, let's see how far we can take this. One of the viewer was saying that um, I shouldn't be riding on the pavement. You're absolutely right. In the UK, cycling in, on the pavement is illegal and you can get a uh, on the spot 50 pound fine. So yeah, be sensible and uh, try not to uh, try not to kill yourself. Sunday morning, uh, choose the time there is less cars around. So let's see today if I can uh, completely ride on just road. It'll be a good video as well. Again, I'm going to uh, get my breakfast. Where am I going? Feels like I'm lost. Let's take the long way. I could have turned left here, but not really fancy that today. Let's do the maximum mileage on these two batteries. The weather is a bit rubbish today and we should have about two hours of uh, dry. 60 miles an hour is the fastest I can go. I think the bus want to overtake me, but he can't. But they're coming to a bus stop anyway. So he better slow down. Now we are hitting like 15.5 miles an hour. Let's see if I can go faster than that. So that means that I need to use my uh, leg power. Okay, let's see how fast we can go. So now I'm on muscle power because the motor would have cut out already. And this is kind of max out. This will be my FTP, so we're looking at 20 miles an hour. And that's on a heavy mountain bike, yeah? This is purely on leg power. Okay, I'm gonna slow down a bit because this is supposed to be a battery test, right? Oh wow, really? What the hell was that? About? And we arrive at our destination. to be wet okay I guess this is halfway mark and we are now on 37.8 volt and we did 3.7 miles we need to cover a bit more mileage on the way back thank you thank you, thank you very much so next part of the journey let's see how far this road will go um, I've never really gone beyond McDonald's here so Will be interesting. No car, so let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Sun is out, so turn it back to five. There we go. This place go locks bottom. Locks your bottom. Wow, that's a bit close. So now the battery is showing 35.1. My aim is to run it down to about 31 at low as possible this time. But the motor is a bit sluggish at the moment. Um, it almost feels like uh, it doesn't want to come on. So for example, I will freewheel a little bit 
And usually by this time I will be at 15 already, but I'm slowly climbing the number. So it's almost like um, the motor is struggling with the low voltage. It will still hit like 15, but it takes a long time to reach 15. But my aim is to run it until there's nothing left today. So um, yeah, so I'm just going around my neighborhood at the moment. I'm literally just like the airplane now, dumping fuel. Struggling. Now, usually when I go up here like this, it's 14 miles an hour. At the moment, it's only doing 10. So clearly, two battery, when it comes to nearly flat, is not as potent as when the battery is fresh. Now, this is one of the reasons why I don't go with just two battery to start with. I don't think um, stressing out the battery like this is a good idea. I like to have like uh, more battery pushing all together, so less work overall for all the battery cells. Even though the voltage is lower, we're still hitting like 15. We're still hitting like 15.5 before it cuts off. I'm just doing a loop. I'm wasting batteries. All right, so. Let's stop here. So the BMS is showing 32.3 and it no longer give power assist for some reason. And um, we stopped. So we did 10 miles on the um, PAS5 level. Maybe the battery just need to recover a bit. It's not warm or anything like that. So even though the BMS will cut out at 31 and it's showing 32.5, it's actually stopped. Okay, to change the battery is not difficult. You just need to unwrap this. Take the old one out. It's not hot, it's just not even lukewarm. I'm sure. When I do DIY, I'm sure when I do DIY they were hotter than that. So when they runs out, just pop another two. Now these are in pairs, so just putting one on will not work. So two. Well, I'm going to go full on this time. Let's put four in there. I oh, hope my jacket is not blocking the view. There we go, battery swapped. So assuming the, the battery consumption is linear, then um, two battery give you about 10 miles. So four batteries should give you 20. I presume, I, I would assume that will give you a bit more because you're not working the battery as hard as just running two batteries, etc. But that will be, Another day, another test. There you go, good to go. All right, so it should show 40 volt again. 40.9, fantastic. Good as new. Ah, power. Wow, this is how it's supposed to be. Now, even when the two battery is completely full, I don't get this kind of a power feeling. Feeling, so yeah. My recommendation will be four batteries for portability and range. So obviously that should give you about 20 miles. I'll say four batteries on the mount. And if you want to put another two on your backpack or four on your backpack, just in case you need more range. Wow, love it. This is so much better. 
So I'm back in my studio and I just did my bike ride with two of these batteries. Now these are Makita type battery, not Makita battery, just Makita type batteries. Now if you press on the battery indicator, this one have only one bar left. And this one here have two bar left. That get me thinking. So let's test the voltage of the battery and see um, what's the explanation here. So check this one out. So this is 15.9 volt. So there's still some juice left, but not a lot. And this one here is measuring 17.31. So for me, my conclusion is that two batteries will give you about 10 miles of uh, bike ride on PSS 5 level with a uh, chip motor like this on the rear hub. And I'm 97 kilos. Today I ride all on flat roads, a bit of hills, but they usually cancel each other out because then you go down free wheeling. And if we assume the power consumption level is linear, then two battery will give you 10 miles. Then the four battery like I have here will give you like 20 miles. Six battery uh, version I have in the other video. So obviously that will give you about 30 miles of, uh, of a range. Personally, I think there could be more than 10 miles um, of uh, juice left in the battery. The reason is that um, when you only have two like this and you're working the batteries inside a lot harder. So these two are in the series and then another two will be in series. So if you only put two batteries on your bike and run them, you are stressing the cells inside this two pack a lot more than when you have four. Because when you have four batteries here, each of the small batteries inside only need to work that little bit harder to push um, the motor forward. So I think the efficiency actually starts when you actually have more than one pack. And when you have like, you know, three packs of battery, then you're even better. That opened the possibility of building different pack size of battery that you want with this kind of batteries. People repeatedly telling me that these are expensive way to do it. Yes, it is. But to be fair, they are pretty cheap now on uh, Amazon and you can get them for not really not a lot of money. And um, for my channel, I get sponsored. So, you know, I get a lot of these batteries anyway for the rest of my uh, power tools and my DIY videos. So if you have an old bike lying around and you want to electrify it, give your power tool battery a chance. 10 miles for two batteries, not too bad. And like today, I use two on my bike and then I carry another four on my backpack, which get me thinking, maybe I should do a backpack video on this instead of mounting them on the battery mount here, I can actually have it on my back. So maybe I can have a pigtail that kind of a cable so that it doesn't obstruct any of the mechanism of the bike. Then I can just carry my uh, rucksack with a wire coming down to the seat area here with a connection. That could work. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you find my information useful, don't forget to share, like and subscribe to my channel to help me grow. Can't wait to see you next time with more interesting gadgets. Bye bye. There's no turning back Two kids by his side A family so tight A loving wife Who's his beacon of light In a world so fierce He's carving his place